Welcome everyone, it is Bernadette here and we are live again to talk about the two numbers that you must track to grow your online business and a couple of things that you'll see different about this live stream today. The first is, you might be thinking, what is Bernadette wearing? Is she wearing a dressing gown? This is my manifesting jacket and this was given to me by my friend, the supremely talented designer Catherine Dean. Uh, she's also a very savvy businesswoman too and um, thank you Catherine for the beautiful jacket this is the first time I've got to wear it properly so I'm happy to wear it here and thank you to Anne Wilson who was the person who connected us and Anne also has a matching jacket so we should get together Anne, at some time and we can <laughs> go out together in our max matching manifesting jackets the other thing you'll notice about the live stream today is um, that I, I've moved we're broadcasting live from my summer room because um, the last couple I've done in my office, which is a lovely cosy office, I think, but someone said to me, with love, and it's always easier to hear these things with love, but it is someone who cares about me a lot, says, Bernadette, you look like you're broadcasting from a broom cupboard. And like we were worried that we might have people write in and go in, you know, have you been kidnapped? <laughs> is this an attempt to get some attention from the outside world? So, um, yeah, so you can see that I don't actually live or I'm locked in an attic. I just thought we'd bring you to a different part of my home. So we're here in the sun room. The other thing I want you to know about the live stream today is um, my boys are at home. They finished school early today and we originally were planning to do this this morning. We had to change the time and I'm sorry, I think there might have been a mix up in the email that went out. Um, anyway, so my boys are with me. And what that means is my son, particularly JJ, might decide to make an appearance. And if he does, you'll see me go, <laughs> because um, he's a very smart kid and he's cute and he's funny, but there is no knowing <laughs> what he'll say if he turns up on camera. So um, he may or may not be joining us, but you know, this is it. This is my real life. This is what I do. I've, I've run my business from home since before my sons were born. And I've said all along in the previous uh, episodes in this series, that you know, one of the things that I love about an online business is the freedom and flexibility to work from anywhere. So a good portion of the time working from home. Um, in a couple of weeks, we're off to Portugal for 10 days over Christmas in total. We started on Wednesday, it's today Friday. Yeah, we start on Wednesday, we're going till Monday. There's an episode every day. The times are slightly different every day. And um, they're also uh, showcasing content that I've already shared in a webinar that I did last week. And if you like this, I invite you to come and sign up. If you want to see more, you can either come and sign up for the webinar where you can get me, see me go into more detail with everything we're talking about in these live streams, or um, you can also access the previous live streams on this page. Um, something I must just do is turn my sound off on my computer. So the reason my computer is sitting there is Actually, let's just put the, the water over here because I don't think computers and waters mix, do they? In fact, the last time, the last computer I had got drowned. I, I was trying to drink more water and it was my New Year's resolution at the start of 2015 and I had a water bottle in my bag and I hadn't put the cap on back uh, properly and let's just say that new, new Year's resolution cost me, you know, a new Mac. So um, the reason that my laptop is there is uh, where the camera is with me being short-sighted. I can't see your comments. I can't see hom who's online, um, but my team are with me. I am not alone. And they are actually feeding through to me comments from your chat, the questions. Um, so if you just joined us, please t t say hello. Tell us uh, where you're joining us from today and tell us what you want to most get from the live stream today. Uh, we'd love to hear that. The more, the more you feedback with me, the more I'll serve you from this. I, I, I'm, I'm here to answer your questions. So, um, yeah, I know, and I, I know actually, Caroline, we've got questions from a previous, from, from the previous live streams that we haven't answered yet. So please make sure that they get pasted through into the chat to me as well today. So, okay. So thank you to Caroline and John who are both helping me today. Right. So the two numbers that you must track to grow exponentially in your business. Why do you need to know these two numbers? I think of these two numbers as being like the ultimate compass to give you feedback on whether you're on track or not. And one of the things that can be overwhelming, not just with an online business, but with any business, is you know, you, you get, you, you've got lots of ideas and there's lots of stuff that you might try, you're, you're really busy and 
doing lots of different things, but you need to know, you need some guidance whether what you're doing is actually working or not. <laughs> and there are two numbers that if you track these numbers and you focus on these numbers and you get these two numbers working together, your business will grow exponentially. And I want to give this to you because although I've been in business for 15 years, I've only ever really heard mentors and teachers talk about the first number. But the first number, without the second number I'm showing you today, is absolutely meaningless. So when I started in my online business, I was focusing on the first number, which I'll come on to in a moment, and everything that I was doing in business was driven by that. The moment I started simultaneously focusing on the second number and putting those two numbers together, my business really took off. I tripled my business the first year I did that. So whether you are just starting out and just thinking about getting online, or whether you're already in some type of online business and you, you want to take it to the next level, these numbers are vitally important. It is never too soon to start tracking these numbers because I, I love numbers, I'm a bit of a numbers geek. Numbers will tell you exactly what to do. Numbers, to me, when you look at what's going on in the business, the numbers tell you exactly what's going on. They will tell you exactly what your next move needs to be. So numbers, to me, are like the ultimate GPS system, showing you exactly what you need to do in your business. And I know some, some people are a bit number phobic, the numbers can seem scary, but what I want to do in this uh, <coughs> live stream today is really simplify it for you. So just keep it really clear and simple. So I'm going to talk about these numbers, I'm going to show you how they work together to get them together. So, in fact, tell you what, before I move on to the next bit, why don't you type in the chat, what do you think the two numbers should be? What do you think the numbers are that would be part of, that would really drive growth in an online business? So, here they are. Right, the first one is your email subscriber list. So, this is the one I, I'm saying you probably have heard people talk about it already, although I'm not going to take that as a given, because when I talked about it on the webinar last week, we had a lady there called Henrietta who said, oh, actually, I, I'm not doing much with my list at the moment. And so, first of all, I want to talk about why do you need an e email subscriber list? Well, your email list to me, is the most important asset in your online business. Because when you have a list, you have a group of people who know, like, and trust you, that you can build a relationship with, and you can let those people know about the products and programs and the things that you're offering online. So you actually have, you know, almost like a ready-made group of potential customers to buy from you. If you don't have a list of people to promote to, you could have the most lovely website in the world, and it's going to be tumbleweed. So, so one of the first things that I did when I got started online was I focused on growing my subscriber list. And I did it way before I created any product. That is the correct order to do it in, by the way. Don't create a product and then try and go and find people to sell it to. I focused on the list. The advantage I had, the reason I knew that I needed to focus on the list, is because previously I had run a sales training business. And when I was running that business, someone, you know, a, a mentor said to me, you need to get a group of people to raise their hands and express their interest and then focus on building relationship and nurturing and focus on um, generating sales from that group of people. And when I heard that, I thought, well, that actually makes perfect sense because um, there are, what, 7, mil 7 billion people on the planet. And um, I don't know the latest numbers of how many of them are online, but I know 2 billion of them are on Facebook. So that's a lot of potential customers, even if you're just marketing through Facebook. So out of those two billion people, it stands to reason, doesn't it, that some of them are going to be more predisposed to buy from you than others. So growing your list is about identifying that group of people who are most likely to buy what you have to offer. Now, I am not going to go into detail about how to grow your subscriber list today. If you want to know more about that, definitely come and watch the, the webinar. There is a link to it in the chat below this video. Uh, we're also gonna have it in the, the text above the video um, later as well. So come and click through to watch that webinar and you will see me talk about all of the ways to grow your subs subscriber list, whether you're just getting started or whether you want to start moving into more advanced tactics. It's all in the webinar. So I'm not gonna be talking, I'm not gonna be deep diving deep in that, but that's where you need to go if you want more about that information. So your email subscriber list is important, and um, it is an important number, and because of this, some people just focus on the subscriber list. Well, that 
that's a mistake because out of those, you might have a hundred thousand people on a list, and you know, some people are like, How big's your list? How big's your list? and there's, there's all this ego around list. Looking just at the size of the list is meaningless because the number that matters is how many people who are on that list are paying customers. So your email subscriber list is people who have given you their email address and permission to mail them. So it is not how many people are following you on Facebook or Twitter. Those, those are different social media platforms. What matters is once you have someone's email, then you are able to you know, reach out to them as often as you like and start to build a relationship. So your email subscriber list is they've given you an email, they haven't given you a credit card yet. So the other thing that we really need to look at is what is the value of that email subscriber list? And specifically, the number that I measure is the value per subscriber. So what this means is, <clears throat> out of all of the people who are on your list, on average, what do they spend with you? Now, bearing in mind, I said some of those people will, be, will turn into paying customers, some of them won't. Um, I went and did some digging to find out what percentage bought from me in my first year selling a product online. So at the end of my first year selling my very first ebook, so this was at the end of 2005, I had 5,000 people on my subscriber list, 600 of them were customers. So that's like, I had a 12% conversion. 12% of the people who joined my list um, became customers. Now, that's, that is considered high. Like, you know, the industry average would be more like three to 4%. So I was doing very well to get 12% conversion. And if you come to the webinar, and if you sign up for the later live streams, I'm gonna be able to dive into that and show you exactly why my conversions were, were you know, four to five times higher than the industry average. So the, the value per subscriber is calculated by this formula. What is the annual revenue from your subscribers divided by the number of subscribers? So your subscriber value is not your conversion. I said I had a 12% conversion, but that's by the by for this. When we're looking at subscriber value, we want to look at what is the total spend here divided by the number of people you have on your list. So don't have an example for it but uh, do I have a pen down here? All right I'll just tell you the numbers. Um, so if you have an annual revenue of 20,000 and um, you have, in fact, thank you Caroline, and it's back. Right if you have an annual revenue of 20,000 and you have 2,000 people on your list 20,000 divided by 2,000, who can tell me the answer? What is the subscriber value? It is 20,000 divided by 2,000 is $10 per subscriber. In that, please tell me I've done my maths right. Yes, $10 per subscriber. So it's really important as soon as you start selling your first product that you start calculating your subscriber value. It is never too early. To, to start doing this number. Now, obviously, you can only start calculating this when you have something to offer. But that doesn't mean, my friend, that it has to be your product. Because there are some people who, and this is a really established online marketing model, and honestly, if I was starting in business today, this is the model I would use. Because I started to grow my list, but I didn't see any money from my list for over 12 months because it took me that long to launch my first product but during that time I've been building up my subscriber list so if I was starting over again knowing what I know today I would have actually been making um, related offers to my list and that's called affiliate or joint venture marketing and I know people online who uh, uh, whilst they're growing their list are actually generating a nice income even before they have a product to sell because they're doing it by recommending ethically and you have you know don't go and recommend rubbish go and pick products or services or people that you would recommend and that is that then can become a viable income stream so you don't necessarily need a product to start generating a value per subscriber who just had a massive aha who just had a realization a blind and flash of the obvious that you go oh wow 
I realized maybe I could start making money in my online business a lot sooner than I thought was possible. So if you did, I'm happy for you. Um, okay, and that method there is what I call how to, how to profit without products. So let's get back to what this live stream is about. And this is about how to, um, how to, the two numbers that you must track to grow your business exponentially. So the first is, remember, the first one is how many people are on the list? And then how many people, what, what, what's the subscriber value? What are they spending with you? <clears throat> so I wanna show you now how these two numbers work together. And um, I, I'm showing you numbers that are based on real life experience. Mine. So I have not plucked these figures from thin air. These are based on things that I did when I got started in my own online business. So let me just take a little bit of water, <coughs> a little bit of a cough today. So I hope you're enjoying this so far. If you've just joined us, welcome. Glad you could make it and stick around because you're about to see some really exciting numbers where I'm going to show you how from a standing start you can... Um, grow from absolutely zero up to half a million dollar in an online business. So let's just show you how these two work together. Right, so let's say you start out with a tiny, 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 tiny list. Just a hundred people, hundred people on your list. And initially your value per subscriber is $12, $12. So that means on average, those hundred people Will spend, will spend, or you will receive value, because they might not be spending with you, they might be buying products that you're recommending and earning commission on, but the value is $12 per, per subscriber, your annual revenue is going to be $1,200 in that business. So, you might say, well, that's nothing to write home about, Bernadette. I was hoping you'd be able to show me some sexier numbers than that. So stick with me, I, I have them coming, but I want to explain why I picked this number. So in my first year in my online business, and I've talked about how I got started on a previous live stream, so you can go back. You can also hear the whole story, the whole warts and all story, when you sign up for the webinar. So the link to join the webinar is in the chat, and you'll hear me talking about exactly how I got started, and step by step, from no list, no product, how I grew my business to a multi-million dollar empire. Um, so the... I looked back at the numbers and I recognized that in my first year of selling my product online, on average, my um, list was spending $12 per subscriber with me. Now, I just told you that in my first year, also, I grew my list to 5,000. So what was my annual revenue from my online business in my first year of my online business? Well, it, was, it wasn't quite 5,000 because it was growing during that year but actually it wasn't far off $60,000. So that's what I made in my first year of my online business. Uh, but that's because I had more people on my list. So I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna show you how to focus on the numbers and how by, take, by really focusing on these numbers together, you can really grow some quite exciting results. So let's talk about the next thing. What if you increase that list to 1,000 people? Now, how does that sound to you, to grow a list to 1,000 people? Are you saying, that sounds um, a bit overwhelming, Bernadette. I don't know where to start. Or are you going, a thousand people? Not a problem. Because I know we've had people joining the webinar and these live streams who have way more than a thousand people on the list. And I also know we've got people who are just starting out that go, a thousand people seems like a lot of people. So let me just tell you what I know based on experience in growing my own business and mentoring other people with an online business. You can, um, with the right focus, get a thousand people on your list in about three months. In fact, in the uh, university I've just launched, the Online Profits University, one of our courses in there is called Your First 1,000 Subscribers. And we show you exactly what to do to get your first thousand people on your list. So let's say with a thousand people on your list and making $12 per subscriber, now bear in mind, it does not have to be your product. Um, the other reason that I picked this number 12 as the starting point is not just based on what I did in business, but you know, since then, I, you know, I mastermind with a lot of people online. And the you know, received uh, wisdom is that, they, um, that anybody can really generate $12 per subscriber per year, if you even halfway know what you're doing. 
So that moment that I told you might happen has arrived. JJ, do you want to come and say hello? JJ's decided to join us. Stark, guest appearance now. Hi. Hello. Can you like to say hello to everyone? My name is JJ. <laughs> He's our family clown. So he's still in his school uniform because we're going back up to the school for a thing to the other day. So, all right, thanks for coming and saying hello. I'm a penguin. <laughs> this is our entertainment commercial in the middle of the training. Okay, anything else that you want to contribute? No, no. <laughs> Thank you, JJ. <laughs> we'll all be working for him in a couple of years, by the way. <laughs> right, so. A, a thousand people on the list, so, uh, so I wanted to show you every step of the way that this is doable. I'm not interested in showing you theory, pie in the sky numbers. I want you to, sh I, I want to get across to you, you can do this. So each piece that I take you through, I want to show you how, he, you know, a thousand people is three months. And it's not three months of full-time effort, by the way. It's three months of, you know, focusing and maybe doing an hour of, of effort every day and you're going to end up with a thousand people on your list. But here's the beauty of this. Once those people are on your list, you, you've, you've got a relationship with them forever until they decide to unsubscribe. So, you know, this is where you do the work once, but you get paid, 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 paid as you grow your list. So you grow your list and your value per subscriber could come from you having a product to sell or it could come from you finding one or two products that you like and you feel really congruent and comfortable about recommending and recommending those products to, to your list. And now look, that's now a $12,000 business. And that, my friend, that can all be done in part-time hours. Um, I have a saying, part-time hours, full-time commitment. So you need to be serious. You need to, you need to be committed to what you're doing. You need to make a decision. Yeah, I am, I am in business. This isn't a, a, a playing hobby. You know, this is, uh, uh, this is something that I'm serious about doing. But look, an extra $1,000 a month. Now, who couldn't use an extra $1,000 a month? For many people watching this live stream, that would be, be life-changing. What would that enable you to do? That is something that you could do. And that's with 1,000 people and then stopping, not growing anymore. And by recommending one or two other products where you get paid that per subscriber and... That's the revenue you're looking at. By the way, if you think about products, we have people recommending our products that we're paying as much as uh, $53 per subscriber. So those are people just re recommending our program that are making four times that. So I just want you to see how doable this is. When you focus on the right things, the right things in the right order. Right, let's look at our next um, one. So. Let's say you keep the 1,000 people on a list, but now you increase the value per subscriber up to 24. So on the live stream that we're doing on Sunday, I'm actually going to really dive in to explaining to you how you, you increase your value per subscriber and step by step the things you need to do. If you can't wait until Sunday, you can see me talk about it on the webinar replay right now. So you just need to click the link that is in the chat underneath this video ahead of me and you come and see that webinar, you can watch it right after this live stream. So, um, you, to get the uh, value per subscriber up, I'll give you a sneak peek, it comes down to two things, having more products, having more offerings, and better conversion systems, those two things. But you could get your product up, your value per subscriber up to $24. I did it when I launched my second product. So the first year, I only had one product that I was online, it was called the Emergency Action Plan for Attracting Clients Fast. I just really focused on promoting that. And at the end of that year, I launched another product and suddenly now my value per subscriber jumped. So even though my list didn't, hadn't really grown much, I was making, well, I was making a lot more than that because I was up to 5,000 people. So I'll show you that in a second. But this is hypothetical. If you only had 1,000 people on the list, you, it would be 24,000. So let's just say, because I said you focus on these two numbers, your business is going to grow exponentially. Focus on the number of people on your list and what they are spending with you on average. So, this is actually based, this, this shows you my second year in my online business. So I just shared with you that my first year, I generated just about $60,000. And in the second year, I was able to increase that to um, 120,000. In fact, 
it, it even went beyond that because I didn't stop here. I'll show you something else that I did in a, in a, in a minute. In fact, I'll go into, I, I do go into the more detail of the step-by-step -step what I did when on that webinar. So go and watch the webinar if you want the whole story. Because at this point, I'm getting excited. I'm trying to tell you everything. <laughs> and, and I just remembered that the focus of this live stream is the two things that you must know to focus on. So um, the most important thing is that you leave here knowing these two numbers. That is the most important thing. So with 5,000 people on your list and $24 per subscriber, which could be you having two products, or it could be you having your own product and recommending someone else's, or you, it could be you just recommending other people's products, Look, friends, that's $120,000. That is a six-figure business. Six figures. Do you know less than 6% of the world's population earn more than, more than this figure each year? Doing this puts you into the world's top 6% of wealth. And, I mean, that would mean at that level, you know, if you wanted to, you could, you could quit your job or you could quit the business that you're currently in because... You know, most people would be able to do well on, the, on this kind of revenue. You don't have to stop there. But, you know, I just want you to see the power of focusing on these numbers. 5,000 people is not a huge list. How do you get 5,000 people? Well, you know how to get 1,000, so you just do that five more times. And you'll want to use systems because there's a lot of rinse and repeat. So it's not necessarily working five times harder these numbers are working together. You have leverage here. So you're getting, you're getting exponential results, but not because it's five times the effort. It's just that you're focusing on things that are producing the, the, the bigger results. So that's what's possible with 5,000 people and $24 per subscriber. So let's just say you increase your value per subscriber up to $36. Now, I do talk about this more. I'm gonna talk about this more when we get together on Sunday. But a sneak peek, what you need to be thinking about is um, your offerings, so what you are offering, and your conversion. So that is what percentage of people are actually buying from you, and how effective you are, what processes you have in place, for when someone comes and joins your email subscriber list, what you have in place that turns them into a paying customer. Because you do not want to do what I call spray and pray marketing you want to have a process that you know with certainty when someone joins my list they're going to spend this amount of money with me now you might not know that when you're starting out this is why you need to know the numbers and you need to be tracking the numbers in your business to, to get those answers so i will go into more detail about this on the live stream on sunday i also have gone into more depth about it on the webinar that you can join right now immediately after this live stream you can come and click the link and join the webinar so look, those two numbers together, the list hasn't grown at all at this point, and uh, $36 per subscriber, and now you've got a $180,000 business. So, with, let's say you're now focused on growing your list to 10,000. With 10,000 people on your list, and you also increased your value per subscriber. Now, I don't know what you think about that number. Does $50 seem high to you? Let me tell you about a client of mine called Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, when she came to me, she's a healer and uh, she focuses on, uh, she's on flower essences and essential oils. And when she came to me, she was the um, archetypal broke healer. Um, but she knew she was destined for more. And um, she took a leap of faith. It was a really big thing for her to um, really sort of commit to growing her business. But now not only has she grown her business, She's also helping other people like her to grow their businesses too. And she's, she's bringing a really beautiful gift to the world. Sarah has just one part of her business where she is generating close to $50 per subscriber. And that's just from one part. So if someone who was a broke healer a couple of years ago and almost like a bit business resistant can achieve that in a couple of years, do you think you could do it? Like, there's a very good chance you've got more business experience than Sarah did when, when she was starting out. But even if you, uh, if, you, if you don't, just take heart from, like, here's someone, like, pretty business naive. And, and actually almost, like, with concerns about, you know, being too businessy in relation to her clients. 
And yeah, this is what she's achieved in her business without being sleazy or um, having to become something that she's not. She's very true to who she is. And I really respect that about how Sarah does business. She's a real role model uh, for the people in her industry. Now, um, so that's what's possible. So you could be doing that. Now, and do you think if you could get a thousand people in three months, is it feasible that you could do that every, you know, every three months? that your list would grow faster because what happens is there's a snowball effect as your list starts to grow. I just wanted to show you this because if it's something you want, I want to show you that by focusing on these two numbers, it is not gonna happen overnight. And I'm not saying there's some magic pill here because frankly there isn't. It takes work in the right plan and it takes focus on the right plan. And anybody who tells you that you can do a few things and go and sit on the, sit on the beach sipping pina colada is lying. I will always be honest to you like this is it's simple but it takes effort it takes effort but look it's conceivable that in, a, in just a couple of years of focused effort to growing your list to a thousand people on your list and focusing on growing your subscriber which is you know what Sarah, Sarah's done in, in, a, in a couple of years you could be looking at a half million dollar business so what do you think about that are you excited by that I'm excited about that for you <laughs> so the, the the big two questions are well no there's three questions the, so the first question is is this something that you would want for yourself do you want to be the owner of this type of business do you want to serve people and be making an impact and making a difference and receiving these kind of rewards and having fun because the other beauty about growing your business by focusing on these numbers is you're getting constant feedback and you're able to see your improvements like sometimes you might not see an improvement in your sales but you know your 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 list has grown and so you know it's only a matter of time before the sales follow so this is also and i think feedback is really important in business because you know you you're you're, you're just seeing your progress you're getting feedback and sometimes Negative feedback is important too. Like when, if you're seeing your numbers go down, you know, okay, there's something I've stopped doing or there's something that I need to change. But what I've basically just shown you there is a journey that if, if you're serious and you're committed and this is something you, you, you choose, then this is the type of business that you can have and beyond because there's no end to where these numbers finish. So the first question is, do you want this? If you want it, the very next thing you should do is go and sign up for the webinar because I'm gonna go into more detail and specifically answer the two questions that if you want it, the next two questions are, how do you grow your subscriber list? And how do you grow your value per subscriber? And I dive in to both of those and show you exactly what to focus on, on each, in each of these two areas in order to achieve the numbers that I've painted here today. So I hope you join me and there's a link in the chat for you to join me on the webinar. And now I'm going to take some questions. We'll see what the questions are on common. Um, so Denise is saying, spot on Bernadette, numbers all the way. Hi Denise, I'm really glad you could join us today. And uh, Denise is, no, we've known each other for a long time. Denise has been a client for, gosh, I remember being on teleseminars with you back in 2009, Denise. So um, yeah, it has been a long time. Um, so uh, welcome, I'm, and, I, and I hope you still, you know, got some valuable insight today. Um, Rosie said, how long between getting going and offering your first paid product, Bernadette? Which is a, a great question. On the live stream I did yesterday, I talked about four, five stages of an online business. And the second stage is what we call get going. And the answer to the question is, Rosie, sorry, it's probably not the answer you want. It depends. And it really depends on how quickly you will um, make decisions and how quickly and, and how you want to create your product. So I have actually seen people go from getting clarity about who they're serving and what they want, which is what we do at the Get Inspired level. And once they, once they have that clarity, I've seen people get their first paid offering out in less than two weeks. And it's a, it's a technique known as get paid to create a product. So it's like you do a pre-sell of maybe a, 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 a boot camp or an online training or something like that. You get people to sign up and then you deliver it after. Now that method doesn't suit all personality types. So there are some people who thrive on that 
Um, and there are other people that are like, no, 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 no. I, I, I would need to know that all the modules and everything is ready to go. There's no way that I would want to sell it. Well, if you're that personality type, it's going to take longer. But again, it's down to how quickly can you implement. Um, so there's no one size fits all answer to that. But the one thing I will say, Rosie, and hopefully you got some additional insight on this today, is, um, you know, what I showed you today is that you don't need to have your own product to be generating value per subscriber. So maybe the question to ask, instead of how long would it take me to create my first product, is how quickly can I start generating a value per subscriber? And the answer to that is, as soon as you find a partner with a proven conversion system who you feel really congruent about recommending. Because the instant you do that, you, you, can, you can get start getting paid straight away. In fact, I mentioned the Online Profits University and I talk about it more on the webinar. So if you want to know more about it, that's the best place to go and find out more. But we had someone who joined the Online Profits University. He took this tactic about value per subscriber. He hasn't even started to grow his email list yet, but he made a recommendation to a friend, taking this model of recommending other people's products. He earned his first paid commission in two weeks. So it, that's interesting, isn't it? I, whichever way I answered that question, the answer is two weeks. So there you go, Rosie. If you're asking how soon can you start getting paid after you are at the get going level, the answer is if you're willing to take action, if you're willing to implement, if you're willing to put yourself you know, outside of your comfort zone, two weeks. Okay. Um, oh, great question from Teresa. Should you be using paid marketing, i.e. Facebook, to grow your list? Yes, but at the right stage. And in fact, I, I give a more full answer to this, Teresa, in that webinar, because I talk about the three main ways to grow your list. And one of them is paid traffic. However, it is the most advanced method. And um, there are two other methods that I talk about in the webinar that are better if you're just starting out. So I say to people, you, you scale using paid traffic when you know your numbers, but there are safer and riskier ways to start getting traffic when you're starting out um, than just doing paid marketing. So yeah, paid marketing needs to be in the mix, but once you know your numbers, you should not be doing paid marketing crossing your fingers. So, you know, I talked earlier about how you need to have this process nailed down where you know exactly what your conversion is and what your value per subscriber is. When you're at the point where you go, okay, I know for every person who joins my list, they are going to spend over the next, you know, 12 months, $20 with me. And I know that with certainty. And I know that because I've seen that and I've seen that play out in the numbers so far. Then you're ready to move to paid, paid advertising. But if you don't have that certainty around your numbers, if you just feel in your way and starting to track the numbers, it's too soon to move to paid marketing. Paid marketing, that instance, is gambling. Because it's like you're putting money down, like you may as well just go to Vegas and go on the roulette tables. I, I don't like gambling with my money. I like making investments and I will invest in things where I am sure of a return. Does that mean every investment works out? No, sometimes it doesn't. But, I, that, but there's more certainty in doing it that way. So, you know, it's, it's another reason why on the webinar I talk about how important it is to be using the strategies for the stage of business that you're at. Because um, there are, you know, one thing that I think messes people up when it comes to growing an online business is they're trying to use strategies that aren't right for their stage of business. So I've lost count of the horror stories I've heard about people who've put money into Facebook ads and it's just, you know, gone down the drain. And the reason was they didn't know what they're doing. They, hadn't, they didn't have these structures in place. And, and so, I mean, seriously, go to Vegas because at least you'll have a holiday out of it. No, that's why I, I would say that. Um, now, Nina says, is hosting a tele-summit still a good way to grow your list? Yes, it is. Um, and it's not as used so far as so much, which is why um, why I actually think it's a good time to be doing tele-summits, because a couple of years ago, tele-summits were two a penny. It's a great way to grow your list. And it is, a, you know, what you, it's really going on with tele-summit is it's actually where you're working with joint venture partners. So rather than going, you know, tele summits, I, I put that all under the category of working with joint venture partners to grow your list that way. And again, that's one of the things that I talk about on the webinar, 
So if you want to see more detail of that, come and um, join us there. Um, okay, well, I think that's it from questions today. So I hope that's been useful. I hope I've given you something to think about. Will them all come in through? Um, does the strategy work in a B2B environment? Um, yes. I love this question, right? Because a lot of people think that... Um, <laughs> I love it. I got quite excited by this question. A lot of people think because my business, I'm, I'm selling to end users, that um, it doesn't work. I started out selling to businesses. I started out selling to businesses. And the first part of what I shared with you today is focus on your email subscriber list. In, in, when I was selling to businesses, it was focus on your prospect list. So one of the reasons that my sales training company was successful and when I started out in the mid-90s was because I focused on growing a prospect list and then I focused on building relationships and marketing to that group of people. And so like that's, that's the first part of this formula here, which is how many prospects are there? And the next part, which is how much are they spending with you? Th those, those are numbers. Like, I mean, this, this, isn't, this isn't a strategy I'm giving you here. I'm, I'm just showing you how, how the numbers work together to get results. This, this actually applies to any business, not just an online business. Now, the specific tactics, because what's happening here is we're talking about strategy and tactics. So Nina's, I'm talking about an overall strategy. Nina has then asked about a tactic, a telesummit. And, you know, is that a good way to do it? And Mel is saying, it, you know, does this apply, you know, is, is, at a tactical level, could you do that? Well, the tactics to implement the strategy might be different in a business to business environment and so it's always important to take that into account Don't, there's no one size fits all there's no um, sort of cookie cutter approach here um, but as long as you as long as you're paying attention to the numbers do you remember i said these two numbers they're like the compass so you know it's like it's like you know the stars in the sky are what the the sailors use to navigate but then the sailors making a decision about whether they go in one direction or another based on the, the weather conditions. So like, don't get them mixed up. So you want to think these numbers here is these, these are the guidance. These are the, these are the things to focus on. These are things that if you just focus on these things and don't get distracted by bright, shiny objects, you, you can't, this can't not work in any business. And I talk about online business because that's the business I'm in. But, um, you know, I know that I could go and consult with any offline business, any retail business, right? Because it, it would be the same thing. You could, ha you could have a hairdressing salon and you could be reliant on business coming through the door. Or you could say, I'm going to build a database, a list of people who are either existing customers or potential customers in our area. I'm going to focus on marketing to those people and I'm going to see how we can then get our average spend per each of those customers for each of those people on our list, each of those prospects up. You know, that's how it would be in a hair salon. You could be selling photocopiers business to business. It would be the same thing. You get a list of people, a list of prospects, and then you focus on how you increase how much on average they spend with you. And if you want to see more about the, the how-to of that, you must join me on Sunday for the live stream there. Um, so I think, I think that's it now. That was the last one. You were just waiting for me to um, see. So... Wow, we've run a bit longer than uh, usual today. I didn't realise that the time had gone on. You can see I'm pretty passionate about this. If you want to see more, please, please, please come and join me on the webinar. Um, it's actually a webinar that I did a few times live over the past week or so. So, you, But you can get access to the replay. You can get instant access to the replay. So if this ex is excited you and you're ready to dive in and get more info, definitely um, go and see that. And I also hope you'll be able to join me um, on... The next webinar, the live streams that we have coming up, uh, which are every day now, between now and um, Monday, you will definitely want to be joining me for tomorrow's because I have a surprise. And I, if I say it's a cracker, <laughs> I might be giving you a little bit of a clue about um, uh, what's coming up. So uh, yeah, make sure that you join me there. And um, yes, and finally, if you like this, um, I'm on a mission to start getting real common sense out to the world about online marketing because quite frankly i am rather tired of all the hype and bright shiny objects and distractions you know when the, you know the next guru shows up with the next magic pill and that's this is the savior and in my experience guys it doesn't work like that you know there's there's a number of moving parts that come together 
to bring a successful online business. That's why I created the webinar, The Ultimate Guide to Online Profits, to have you focus on the things that you really need to focus on. And I'm on a mission to get this message out to more people. So if you liked it and you feel called to support me in that mission, please, if you would share this video as well, I would really, really appreciate it. So um, that's it from me. Um, thank you, says Teresa. The live streams are really help helpful. Um, it's my pleasure. I really enjoy doing this, um, Teresa. This is, I love connecting with people in this way. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my experience. And yes, I, you know, I really appreciate you doing here. And I appreciate your comments as well. So I think on that note, we shall wrap up. If Caroline will come and turn the video for me. And then you don't have to see me walking up to the camera to do it. And uh, I'm now going to go and do a thing at the school with my children. So uh, have a great rest of Friday and I'll see you back here tomorrow.